If your workflow involves connecting and controlling multiple cameras through Canon's RCI-P100 controller, follow along as we connect a CRN300 PTZ camera and a CRN500 PTZ camera to the controller and control the cameras with video feeds going to an external switcher. You'll need a switch, ethernet cables, and any cables necessary to get the video feeds out. Power on the PTZ cameras by plugging in the correct power cable. Connect an ethernet cable to the camera's LAN port, then to the switch. To make setup easy, Canon offers free software, including the camera search tool, available from the Canon USA website. As of today, it's only compatible with a PC running Windows 10 or MS Surface running Windows 10. Connect an Ethernet cable from the computer running Windows 10 to the network switch. Set up the IP address by opening the camera search tool. Click on an IPv6 address to begin camera login. Create an administrator name and password of your choice. Select Apply and Reboot. Once it's established again, fill in the username and password created in the previous step. Select Sign In. Now select Manual for IPv4 address setting method. IPv4 address and subnet mask will be defaulted to 192.168.100.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Adjust the IPv4 address. Choose an address of your choice as long as it's different from the IPv4 address set for the computer or any other devices. Select Apply and Reboot. Since multiple devices will be connected here, keep track of which address each device is assigned. Follow the same procedure for any other cameras using a different IPv4 address for each camera. Connect the correct power supply to the RCI-P100 controller and power on. Connect an Ethernet cable into the switch. Connect the other end into the RCI-P100's LAN port. Press the Settings button located on the bottom left of the screen of the RCI-P100. Select Network under Controller option. Select Camera Registration. Press Manual. Now select which camera and group number you want to assign and enter the IP address of the camera. Enter the username and password. Press Enter to save when finished. Press the Settings button again, select Network, then Controller this time. The default IP address for the controller is 192.168.100.0, which is not a valid address. The RCIP100 needs a valid IP address for it to function. Simply change the last number to a number of your choice and press Enter. Now you can control the cameras using the RCIP100. You can touch the camera number on the controller to switch control over each of the cameras. The RCI-P100 controller has six buttons and knobs to customize features that can be controlled. F1 through F4 and User 1 and User 2 assigned by using the touchscreen. For more detailed information on each of these cameras and the controller, download the user manuals from the Canon USA website.